So with the warmer weather, I thought what a great time to show you how to wash your curtains. Make sure whoever you got your curtains off, make sure you get the care instructions. Most curtains I sell are machine washable, um, but there is a lot of curtains out there that are dry clean only. But for the purpose of today, I have this linen blend curtain, 50% linen, 50% polyester, so it makes it great to wash. Um, so we're gonna wash this sheer today and I'll show you how to hang it back up. So use a safety ladder, of course. And we're going to unhook these hooks. So you push the back of the hook um, up and pull it out. Once you get on a bit of a roll, they come off quite easily. So now that I've got the curtain down, I need to take these plastic hooks before putting them in the washing machine because you don't want them to get clogged up in the washing machine. So all you do is grab the hook and you need to like push it back out and it will come out. So keep that in a safe place again, just pushing it back and it comes out. Now, when you take them out, you can actually see it's got a little bit of a divot of where the hook's been in. So we need to remember this because that's where we need to put the hooks when we hook the curtain back up. If you don't do it exactly where those divots are, it will not look like your perfect S fold did when I hung them and installed them. I've got the curtain now ready to take it down to the laundry. Don't forget to actually clean the window area where you've just taken the curtains down. There's no point in putting a beautiful new wash curtain back up if you've still got really dirty windows. I've actually taken the fly screens off and they're outside getting a bit of a hose down. Okay, so I've got my curtain that I've just taken down. Remember to check with your supplier or me if you got it from me about the care instructions. I always specify cold wash. Now cold wash isn't 30 degrees, it's cold. So on your washing machine, make sure it says cold. Um, I'm just gonna use my everyday one because I know that I can um, change all of these settings anyway. But if you feel more confident, use the delicate one. So I'm just gonna reduce my spin only to 800. And I'm going to use the delicate uh, powder or um, liquid if you've got it. Because it's got linen in it, I always like to use, um, whenever there's an organic fiber, this is like good for wool. So I'm only gonna put a tiny bit in there. You don't actually need very much. Um, you don't want it to be too sudsy because that will stay in the fabric. So I'm just gonna press play. And make so the curtain has finished washing. Most people think, oh, I'll go put it out in the line. But out in the line, who's got a line big enough to put a curtain? And also, if you've got any luck like me, you have issues with birds and things making them dirty again. So the best thing to actually do is hang them straight back up. Okay, so now we need to put the hooks back in. And as I said, you need to um, look at where the divots are in it. So we use the hook and we go up and then pull it through. So you can see the divot there, up and pull it through. The other thing is, if you can't see the divots anymore, it's always an even space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carriers this one is. But you can, you can always check that way. Um, I just do it so much that I can tell by the spacing. Okay, so the rest of those I've already done. So let's um, put it up. So you obviously need to start at the end and it's literally one hook for one carrier. Now it's really important to not miss one. If you miss one, you actually need to start all over again. So just do it really slowly because it's really annoying when you get to the end and you've got one too many hooks or one too many carriers. So each carrier has to have a hook. That's how we make it perfect. Don't worry about too much about how it's falling at this stage. I will show you how to do that later. Now once I've got a few up, I normally go back and make it S. So it looks like it's perfectly trained, it knows what's to do, but you always have like, think of the snakes. The snake's tail's always gonna be at the back of the wall. So it S is like this. 
So you pull one forward, push that one back. Pull forward, push that one back. So it's, I've obviously had it hanging so long that it knows what to do. Okay, so the curtains are hung back up. They're still wet, so I've pulled the lining back to make sure they get as maximum sun as they can. Um, for 50% polyester and 50% linen, I mean, they just hang amazingly. You wouldn't know that I haven't had any steamer on them or anything. That's straight out of the washing machine. They look amazing. They're nice and clean. And like, hopefully the sun will just get out the rest of the creases. And if not, we could do a little steam, but I wouldn't worry about it. That's what I love about linen. I love that it's got a bit of texture. So it's really not that hard. So have a go at washing your curtains. <laughs>